Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and I got a cool script for you today. It started where the other day, let's see, last Friday during my office hours, I'll try to remember to put a link up here in case you're interested. So we have live auto hockey support Fridays from 10 to 11 Central Time or 11 to 12 uh, Eastern Time, depending how you look at it. And Dimitri had joined the call and shared how he had used these styles to color windows. And it was really kind of cool. It gave a, a really nice look. And then at the Auto Hockey webinar yesterday, he came back on and demonstrated a bit more. So I was playing with it and I found the original post, which I'll have in my link here, but you'll see how it's coloring, adding, making GUIs look a lot newer. The same Auto Hockey GUIs, you basically apply kind of like a theme or, or a style and it, it makes them look much newer kind of looking. So it's a quick fix. It doesn't, you know, fix a lot of other things and sometimes they look a little hanky, but I want to give you a quick demo with this script also because it references you have to have this DLL in the post. Let's go ahead and switch over to the script here. Oh, by the way, um, we do below me here. There's the uh, we do have an intro to GUIs course. It's it's really called like GUIs are easy because at all hockey they really are. And so if you're new to GUIs and want to start learning them, uh, our intro to GUIs course is top notch. I think it's it's one of the best courses quality wise we've put together. A lot of great stuff in there. Anyway, let's get into the actual script. And so in here, let me zoom in a bit for you. And again, I borrowed it from here, which if when you download the script, you'll get this one or just search for uh, styles, you know, and uh, and you'll it'll take you there. And let me let me show you. This is the page, this Uskin DLL. And there are, I would say, like five, maybe more references to hyperlinks to get the stuff and most of them are broken unfortunately so that's why I, I put them all when you get this script you'll get the dlls and you'll get um 29 i think it is styles that i found with it and it was to me very confusing they mentioned there's these ms s styles and then there's also the shark mentioned somewhere now the shark one i couldn't find the shark dll and it was also it's like a paid for thing so i said you know what i'm going to remove that from my example let's get back to the script I'm going to remove that from my example and just focus on, you know, this DLL with what works. The other thing I really didn't like, and, and I don't understand why people do this, is they hard-coded, they didn't make it simple to have a one variable with the path to where things are. You know, they, they had multiple, you know, we had to do a search replace in your whole file and make sure you get it right or whatever. So I kind of adjust that as well. So for the Uskin DLL, you, you know, you'd save the file to your computer wherever you want and then put the path. Now I put it in the script directory, just you, and then that's the file. Uh, and then there's also all these files. Now there's these MSS files. Let me see if I can. All right. So these are the MSS styles files. Now here you can see, I actually have them both in the same folder in this one, because I, I think I'll put my script in here and we'll zip it up. Uh, and, and maybe I'll update that path just so it references that. So it's one path instead of multiple ones. It's in here. You know, these are the different styles files. Uh, I, I love rhyming. And uh, you get the idea there, right? So to use, it's very straightforward. Also, it does require 32-bit. So I have a run with script here. This is one we've written and shared. Uh, I'm just, you can grab it here or you can go up to the URL and watch a video on it. But of course, there's auto hotkey to launch itself in 32 bit. This way, you don't have to worry about it not working because it launches in 64 bit. So it does, by the way, there's a different version that uh, Dimitri was showing runs with version two. Uh, but this one, you have to have 32 bit version of Windows 2, uh, <laughs> auto hotkey version two. Uh, anyway, so. Here we're creating an object just to store something in it later. And then we go get, we're using that path and looping over all these MS styles files, puts it into an array. Here I also, I put a, created a total value for the total number of files found. And this, you'll see it later in the title, which I think is just helpful, a little thing I added. Uh, nothing major. I mean, I, I really just tweaked some stuff in here. Uh, here's the skin form function, which does these DLL calls. And I didn't bother to study this um, much other than adjusting for this DLL path, which again, wasn't a standard variable. Like they were, they didn't have it included here and then you had to replace it multiple places. And I thought that was just silly. Uh, they had it, uh, they didn't actually have a path where they had the script directory. Then it was just like, let's just put it with a path. Come on people. Anyway, here, let's see, blah, blah, blah. The other thing I'd like to say is I added a, a couple other options and the default value here, just so we see the, the drop down list. Uh, and in the title or one way close that's one way close right here so this is the current title and this is going to be the key or the index of however many and uh, and the rest of it is just kind of this is the next button so we'll see that demonstrated and when you close it'll close this out and that's the end of it so let me go ahead and launch it here uh, and you know this first one you're like oh that's kind of interesting and this is the what is it aof 
uh, you know, MS styles. So it's one of 29. That's what I'm going to give you in this file here. And uh, and you can see how this is interesting. It's not to me that much improved or you know better than the uh, the built-in auto hockey version. But when we click this one, like look at this next one. Wow, that suddenly really makes it pop. Um, very to me much sexier than the normal auto hotkey GUIs. Uh, and you can just kind of come through at three. So we're on four of 29 and here, remember here's the name. So if later you find one you like, this is how you can use it to see which one you like. Right. But I think that's, that's pretty awesome because the general auto hockey GUIs just look very dated. Uh, look at that. What is that? The pumpkin theme? Come on. But you get, wow, look at that one. So I, I think there's some really cool and interesting things that you could do with this. Again, now adding a DLL for people to have to download does, you know, increase the likelihood it'll get flagged as spam or a virus. Uh, but at the same time, suddenly you can have these kind of, you know, look at that little check mark. That's that's pretty awesome, right? I think uh, adding that kind of functionality or, or look, I guess is a better way to say it, is is pretty slick. That one's hard to see to me. Um, so I'm not going to necessarily go through. I guess I'll keep clicking here. Uh, this way I get an extra quarter, you know, for this video because people watched it longer. <laughs> I am kidding. Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you like it. It's a, uh, I wanted to have a nice, simple to use example because I'm not, you know, one that, look at this. I like, I like these things here are very different. Uh, I'm not one that plays with GUIs a lot. So I wanted a simple example that people like me could download and play with. And then you just have to, you know, use the style on your GUI. Right to apply the um, here's the current style and that's where you stop thinking applying it. No, that's not it. Um, but you you call it before and just follow the script and adapt it to your GUI, right? But the fact that it's it's pretty easy to make these things look. Oh, I guess that's the last one. That's an interesting one there to me. What? And we're still going? Oh, oh, sorry, I misread the number. There we go. And that's it. So hope you found that interesting. Uh, Dimitri did a good job just demonstrating it in the webinar. He also demonstrated applying it to the version. He's using version two of auto hockey and he created a notepad replacement just for fun. And then he applied the dark theme to it. And it was just really cool to be able to apply these themes to GUIs and have them, you know, not scream at you with the bright white GUIs. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, see you soon. Cheers.